Y'all, the Russians ain't even using all that military hardware, man. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. Oh, yeah. It says, and they that use the world as not abusing it. Yeah. <clears throat> always recognize that, uh, uh, always keep your mind on the heavenly Father and His Son while you're in the world, man. Right? While you're doing things in the world, man. Always keep your mind on Yahweh Shinawachai and whatever you're doing in the world, Make sure it's not offended. Y'all watching that with shot. Okay? Go ahead. For the fashion of this world passeth away. That's why, man. Can't get caught up in too much of the world, man. Always keeping your mind and your thoughts on y'all watching that with shot. Not to offend them and not to abuse their mercy, man. Because that's what people do, man. People do it every day. Abuse another person personally. And these nigga Latinos and Native Americans been abusing y'all by shot person, man. Go ahead. It says uh, verse verse 32. But I would have you without care, careful carefulness. For he that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord. See your focus will be on y'all by shot shot more. See, if you ain't got no woman, you see, your focus will be on y'all by Shemel Shai more, man. You see? Go ahead. How he may please the Lord. Go ahead. But he that is married careth for the things that are of the world. Because what? The woman is worldly, man. She like materialistic stuff. She like to be comfortable, man. And that's why you're going to suffer trying to please her, man. <laughs> That's why you're going to suffer, man. Tribulation, man. Trying to please her, man. See? Go ahead. How he may please his wife. See? Go ahead. Verse 34. There is a difference also between a wife and a virgin. Go ahead. The unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. See, that's the difference. Go ahead. But she that is married careth for the things of the world. See? She that is married careth for the things of the world, man. You see? Paul know it, man. They were doing it back then and they doing it today, man. And that was the Israelites that was in uh, Greece. Because Corinthians is in Greece, man. See? And a lot of them letters, Israelites was coming back into the fold in Corinthians. There was a lot of them going off, too. That's why the book's so big. But he was answering a lot of questions that the Israelites had that was coming back into the fold, worshiping Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. He was answering a lot of questions, man. And you got guys in this truth, man. Got them questions still to this day, man. And been in the truth. Still got the question mark to send the woman, man. You see? These women of the world, man, they got a big fat question mark in their head, man. And if you're not their slave, then they don't want to be with you. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. How she may please her husband. Go ahead. Verse 35. And this I speak for for your own profit, 
not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. See? Look up the word distraction, because a woman is a distraction, man. See? The women being in the world, man, they're a distraction, man. That's just what it is, man. But you gotta stay prayed up, man. And watch. That's all I can tell you. Stay <laughs> prayed up and watch, man. You see? That's what you gotta do. Battery about to go dead. Ah, right, we back. I had to change the battery. And the brother looking up the word distraction in 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. All right, it says uh, Strong's G 563. Strong's G 563. Testosterone. Testosterone. Okay, testosterone. And this uh, says without distraction, without something. something. Say again, I didn't hear you because it uh, says without distraction, without, See? without distraction. See, without distraction, man, or anxiety. Anxiety, or you know care. what the word anxiety means? Really, you don't know how the future will play out. Mm. See, you'll be worried about that, man, how the future gonna play out concerning with her. See. Anxiety, you see? Not knowing how the future gonna play out with her, man. You can look it up, anxiety, man. When you finish reading them, finish reading them definitions. Oh, those were it. Anxiety and care, or care. Yeah, see? And then, so, uh, looked up the word uh, solicit, solicitude, and, it's, uh, and it goes into concern. Concern. Concern with her, man. Let me see. Anxiety, uneasiness of, of mind. Uneasiness of mind, because he's dealing with that woman, man. Because playing into your Abba Shemel was shy, he'll ease your mind. The scriptures is a comforter, man. Mm -hmm. You see? But these women, man. <laughs> Hey man, you have to be having anxiety attacks, man. Uneasy in mind, man. Trying to please these women, man. See, that's why, I, that's why I don't go into great detail about these women because the scriptures tell you right now, man. You just gotta look up the words. You just gotta look at the scripture, look up the words. Both got a question mark about the woman. Why she acting? Why she acting? Why you quit and watch my face? Tell you right now. Hey man, that's enough counsel right there. You can't see it from right there. Shit, you got a fucking major problem. That woman got you blind. You see? That's what it is. She got you blind, man. Go ahead. That's all I wanted out of that particular. Well, you can read that particular verse again, then right. we're gonna jump. Alright, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 35. It says, and this I speak for your own profit, that it says, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely and that ye may attend, attend upon the Lord without distraction. See? Attend upon the Lord without distraction. 
Now, who was he talking about? That woman. The, wo the woman that had you uh, with anxiety attacks, man, it's, it's not uneasy in the mind, man. See? Look up the word anxiety in the regular Google. Just see what it say. Man, let, let them hear that, man. Let them hear that. Because a woman is worldly, man. I don't know if I can have it play again. All you got to do is get it and then play it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Let this madness go by. Because he, he got to show off his pipe. He got to show it off. Can't help it. and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. Fast heart rate, rapid breathing, sweating, and feeling tired may occur. Be all, what happened be all when you fucked did, up. Be that's what happened when you deal with the woman, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's what happened when you deal with a worldly woman, man. That's the vibration you be on, man. You see? <laughs> Worried about why she ain't answering the phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 right? <laughs> Jake, I, right? Jake, you help, right? Jake, you save me, right? You know? What we laughing, but it's serious, man. Right? Right. Some, some brothers, man, they just need to from that woman, man. <laughs> Some brothers man, in bad shape, man. Concerning a woman, man. That shit, man. <laughs> hey, man, it, it's real. Yeah, Lord willing, I'll never get in that fucking situation. Fuck that shit. You can have it, bro. But uh, <laughs> going to Revelation. Uh, what I, oh, I know what I want. I call for uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. I'm going to play this first. In defending their country with those weapons, a lot of them are dying. Quote you, uh, Elliot Cohen served as a counselor to Condoleezza Rice when she was the Secretary of State, and he writes this in the Atlantic magazine. He says, "Oh, now he finna bring out the same uh, article. He finna bring out the same article that I uh, well, not the same one, a different one, but." I didn't get that article from him, but I'm just letting y'all hear it again. I got it from somebody else. The United States and its NATO allies are engaged in a proxy war with Russia. They are supplying thousands of munitions and hopefully doing much else, sharing intelligence, for example, with the intent of killing Russian soldiers. And because fighting is, as the military terrorist Karl von Clausewitz said, a trial of moral and physical forces through the medium of the latter, we must face a fact. To break the will of Russia and free Ukraine from conquest and subjugation, many Russian soldiers have to flee, surrender, or die, and the more and faster, the better. 
that's Elliot Cohen, former State Department advisor in the Atlantic. I'm, I'm wondering your response to that, especially him calling, so openly declaring that the U.S. is using Ukraine for what he calls a proxy war against Russia. Well, Professor Cohen is a very honest man, uh, which is to his credit, uh, and therefore his uh, adherence to neoconservative objectives is entirely transparent. Um, and what he just said, what you quoted him as saying, is consistent with the neoconservative objective of regime change in Russia. And it's also consistent with fighting for the last Ukrainian to achieve it. Uh, I, I find it deplorable. Uh, but I have to say, it's probably representative of a very large body of opinion in Washington. And why? Why? Does this view of Ukraine as essentially cannon fighter against Russia, why is it so prevalent in Washington? This is essentially cost free for the United States. As long as we don't cross some Russian red line that leads to escalation against us, we are engaged, as Mr. Collins, Professor Collins said, in a proxy war. And we're selling all our weapons. Uh, that makes arms manufacturers happy. We're supporting a valiant resistance, which makes gives politicians something to grow about. We're going against a, an officially designated enemy, Russia, uh, which makes us feel vindicated. Uh, so, from the point of view of those, uh, of the, those with these self-interest and views of the issue, this is a free beat. And as someone with extensive experience... Now, what I, brought, what I want the brother to uh, read is uh, Revelations, the uh, 13th chapter. 